We have a tool that was launched at the Canadian Association of Fire Chiefs last fall at their conference in Calgary. Uh, we've had, Erica, how many tests have, or how many, how many people have used it? Oh, well over 150 fire departments across the province. And we've had some as far as Ontario that have wanted to sort of test run it. Yeah. Um, I think what I would say sort of in simplest terms for people to understand what the tool does is a fire chief or a town manager or a training officer would basically go into the tool and they answer a series of questions. They go through a survey and they identify, okay, do you have water by in your community? Do you have heavy industry? How many people are there? Do you have major highways? Um, to, and then it spits out a uh, community risk assessment and identifies service level that the community should consider. Obviously, we can't tell a municipality, as Randy said, what service level they have to provide, but based on the risks in their community, it spits out a service level that they should provide. And then it provides the level of training that their firefighters or that a minimum number of their firefighters should have in order to provide that service level. And it provides those service levels in a number of different areas. So a municipality could say, okay, we definitely want to provide a certain service level in um, building fires, but we really don't want to get into water rescue. Okay, so you choose, yes, we're going to provide building fire entry, um, but we are not going to provide water rescue. And then the tool basically tells them, here's the training that you need. So any, any fire department can then print that out and have a very clear picture of what level of training their firefighters should have in order to provide that level of service. 